we will start with a general short revision on Kalman filter and I will leave a concrete example for estimation using Kalman filter to future video. So let's start. Kalman filter is used to estimate a state vector x at a time step k using measurements y. What does it mean? Suppose that I want to estimate the curve position and the curve velocity at each time step. So our state vector will include four components, two components for curve position and two components for curve velocities. And I will use some measurement from sensors. These measurements or these sensors can be GPS, can be LADER, can be radar, can be camera, or any other sensor. In order to use Kalman filter, we need two kinds of, mo of models. The first model is called motion model, while the second model is called observation or measurement model. The motion model describes how the state vector is dynamically changed over time. In this motion model, I consider that I don't have any control signals. That's why it's a function of the state vector as a previous time step and the noises as a previous time step. We added these noises to reflect the fact that we don't have an ideal motion. Sometimes I may consider that the car is moving with a constant velocity, but in fact it doesn't. So I should add some noises in order to reflect this fact. These noises, as a rule, in Kalman filter, is considered to be Gaussian distributed noises with a mean zero and covariance matrix Q. And it's called process noise and usually, as I said, white noise with Gaussian distribution. These two matrices are called transition matrix and diffusion matrix, respectively. And in Kama filters, they are constant. The second model is called observation model. And it describes how my measurement, my measurements are a function of my state vector. And as a rule, we don't have any ideal sensors and every sensor, every measurement from any sensor is noisy. So we added this measurement noise. The measurement noise as a rule is a white noise with a Gaussian distribution and it has mean value of zero and covariance matrix R. This H matrix is called measurement matrix. In order to start the pipeline of Kalman filter and since it's a recursive algorithm, we need some initial conditions or sometimes it's called initial guess. I need to initialize my state vector with some value. As a rule, we modeled the initial state of the state vector as a Gaussian distribution with mathematical expectation M node and covariance matrix B node. 